Hi there. I have a question for you. Do you trust your government? <laughs> At this point, most people will reply, no, I don't trust my government. But there will be some people who will point at this guy, <laughs> me, <laughs> saying, oh, you're a terrible conspiracy theorist. Why would you not trust your government? <laughs> uh, and, you know, it, such an attitude is, is almost cute at this point, but <laughs> and it, it kind of makes me laugh. But I do not trust my government. I do not trust the political elite. That word elite I don't like so much, but you know what I mean. I do not trust the system as a whole. And at this point in human history, we are looking at a development that is not progress, but the opposite. We are looking at a future with less freedom, more control. And I have called it feudalism 2.0. Um, other people have also talked about how we're going towards, how we are moving towards a more feudalistic system, actually. And that's not a good thing. In this video, I will try to point at some of the things going on and what we can do about it. And by the way, I'm up here in uh, not my local woods, but I've taken a day hike to this beautiful shelter and it's raining. So I'll get the camera under uh, the, the roof here and uh, we'll continue the video. It is important to understand that politicians, with some exceptions, but as a whole, politicians at this point, they do not serve the interests of the people. They serve the interests of corporations and people with a lot of power. And they lobby towards uh, the politicians to make them make certain decisions. Okay, let's say you make weapons. And this is a class classic example. Okay, and I'll, I'll, I'll be very brief here. Let's say you make weapons. You need wars. That's what you need to create the demand. So what your government is doing is taking your money, your tax money, taken from your income, and they give some of that money to the companies making weapons. You know, if you have been following my channel that I care deeply about the environment. And that's why I am looking at what's happening in Norway and many other countries now, where they are just chopping down the forests to create wood pellets because it's so environmentally friendly. It's shipped out to, uh, or, you know, to continental Europe. Um, they're destroying nature to, to erect their wind turbines and all of that. It completely destroys the wildlife and nature here in Norway. And Norway has been reduced to a battery for continental Europe. It's a big shame, it's a big disgrace. I'll stop right there or else I'll just keep going and it will become a terrible rant. It is important to understand that as a whole we have a tax-funded economy now. Your money from the ever-increasing taxes is taken from you, given to corporations. Those corporations lobby to make <laughs> politicians give them money. It's, it is that simple. It's a tax-driven economy. There would be an uprising if people were not kept in check in their place by surveillance. Now, most of the surveillance is through your smartphone. Most of the surveillance <laughs> functions in such a way that you are required to use your smartphone for everything. And everything you do on your smartphone is monitored. I have said many times, get rid of the smartphone. 
Okay, so now I will say what I would have said at the beginning of this video, but I've saved it until now because of how this platform and the censorship works. Uh, it's a little bit easier not get, to not get censored if I wait a few minutes. Okay, how do we know that our governments are not acting in the interest of the people? How do we, how do we know that? Well, it's very simple. First of all, a few years ago, they agreed with Big Pharma to do a huge experiment on the population. And there were two uh, main components of that experiment. The first experiment was purely medical. And you know what I'm talking about here. It was a horrible thing to do. It was foolish. And I can't really say more about it. <laughs> I'm just out of um, a uh, sort of a, uh, a jail time here on YouTube. So uh, that's how it is. But the other part was social engineering, tampering with people's minds. Now, for instance, the government in the UK have had to admit that uh, they hired people to do that for them. Um, brainwashing people, using fear. And when politicians do that, when, you know, someone who do that is not a good person. It's very simple. Someone who do that, I will actually say, is evil. You're looking at something very evil going on there. So I could go on and on and give you examples on how our governments are clearly not acting in the interest of people. They're clearly not doing what they should do, which is creating what I like to call a night watch state, which is a safe place to be for people. And apart from that, you're a free individual. Um, <laughs> that's, that's not what we have, that's not what they want, and it's going to get a lot worse. I was asked when I was at the Bushcraft show uh, last year, I'm going back this year actually, uh, there's a link in the... I'll, I'll make a pinned comment or, comment or something if you want to come there. Um, I was asked at the Bushcraft show, what do you see in the future? What do you see <laughs> in the future? Like, like as if I have a crystal ball. I don't have a crystal ball, but some things are very uh, obvious, right? More taxes. The taxes will be increased and everything, everything will be taxed. And it will get to a point where people, one, they stop working or they work as little as possible because what's the point? when you're taxed into oblivion. What's the point? And number two, people will start leaving countries. In Norway, we are seeing that already. And in mainstream media, of course, they're uh, framing it as millionaires and billionaires are leaving the country. Yeah, no, no, it's not only the millionaires and billionaires leaving the country. It's not about how much money you have. It's about what kind of wealth you have. Uh, but that's a different discussion. But you know, I could sit here all day long and complain. Uh, there is no point in that. Um, I promised to share some opinions on what we can do about this whole thing. And uh, I'm just some guy out in the woods, you know. Um, <laughs> I don't know everything, but I have some opinions. I can, I can share what I see and share my observations and my thoughts about this. And I think that first and foremost, what we all should do starting today is to make things difficult for them. Now, I've said before that we should not use these smartphones, at least not so much. Uh, don't use their, uh, you know, the governmental apps and whatever. I, I, I don't know, really. I don't have a smartphone, so I don't know how much they're requiring people to use that now. But um, 
big pharma, big tech and the governments. It's this unholy trinity uh, moving forward now towards feudalism 2.0 and we need to make it difficult for them. Also, reconsider your life choices. It's very easy to get trapped into this pattern of doing what other people do. You know, uh, working nine to five and paying your taxes and, and all that. But is that really what you want? Um, if you look at the property market now, it's completely driven by debt. <laughs> Difficult word for a Norwegian. There's a B there, debt. Why is there a B there? Um, but you know what I mean. But do you really need that big house? It's probably a good investment. But is it a good investment if you have to work and shape your life around paying the debt, the monthly, the mortgage, every month? You have to take life quality and bring the life quality into that equation as well. And also, use your voice. We have social media now, you know. Yes, it's censored, but we, we can still, to some extent, let the world <laughs> know what we think, or at least some people will read our posts and maybe watch our videos. You know, when I look at society uh, now, it's like I want to shout at people, don't do that. Don't go that way. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't be so foolish. It's not good for you. But people don't care, you know, and they seem to be at this point, you know, mostly concerned with a quick fix for everything. Your governments, big pharma, big tech, and they have a solution for you. Yeah, just do as um, you're told and take that pill or that, you know, little uh, poke in the arm and uh, plop yourself down and watch your, you know, your mainstream media or your propaganda <laughs> in, on the smartphone um, and you'll be fine. You'll be numb and you'll feel somewhat okay And that's the state that they want you in, as we are now moving towards what I like to call feudalism 2.0, where you will own nothing and you will be happy. We need to call these people out. We need to point our finger at them and tell them that we will not accept what they're trying to do. We will not be part of this new society where everything is controlled everything is surveilled, you'll have less freedom or no freedom in your 15-minute city, your 20-minute neighborhood, you won't have a car and you won't, <laughs> you won't even be able to eat healthy food. It will all be some vegan soy-induced ultra-processed crap. We will not accept that. And we need to call these people out. We need to tell them that first of all, you're not going to succeed with your plans. And number two, we will hold you responsible for the medical experiment that was done on the population. And you all know what I'm referring to. People are dying now. Issues with the heart, among other things. And I can't, that's all I can say about it. 
These people are criminals. They really are. They belong in jail. And it's very easy to point at this this guy on YouTube. Oh, look at he! Oh, look at this guy sitting there. You know, look, he's a conspiracy theorist. But to those people who write that in the comments, so you know, to those people, I will say, when you're alone in your own company, do you really think that? Do you really think that what I'm saying here is just? conspiracy theories or is it in fact um, a matter of you having been conditioned to react in a certain way when people go uh, against uh, the, the common the, the official narrative I think that's that's what's actually what is actually happening But you know what? All of these words mean nothing if we can't get back to nature. If we cannot connect with nature, we, we're lost. Then there is no hope. So, get outside, please. Get back to nature. Spend time out among the trees. <laughs> I've said it so many times. Now it's really... Well, it's not pouring down, but it's properly raining now. But that's beautiful too. Okay, uh, I'll be walking down now to a very fascinating area. Um, so come along and uh, I'll show you. I just wanted to show you this area. There was a big fire on this hill many years ago. And I wanted to show you this to point out that not everything grows back and if it does grow back eventually, it's not always the same. And what I'm referring to is trust. During uh, a big cough, <laughs> I think people lost trust. They lost trust first and foremost towards their governments, but also towards each other. And uh, that's a big shame. It is something that was done to us. And I do not think it should be forgiven. <laughs>